Good day everyone, this is Teacher Nori, and in this video, we are going to talk about the definition of noun and common and proper nouns. What are nouns? Nouns are names for people, places, things, events, ideas, plants, and animals. Examples of these are, for people, we have Mr. Reyes, Teacher, Josephine, Baby, and Barber. For places, Market, Mall of Asia, Taguig, Brazil, Beach. For things, Airplane, Chair, Car, Magnet, Laptop. And for ideas, Love, Kindness war, peace, and freedom. For animals, lion, butterfly, elephant, ant, shark. For plants, rose, acacia, bamboo, guava, sampaguita. And for events, new year, Ramadan, birthday, feast day, and holiday. Now let us check your understanding. From your handouts, you need to group the list of names given as people, animals, and things, and for the second group as places, ideas, or plants. For the first group, baker, We have, again, baker, salmon, egg, shoes, priest, eagle, frog, paper, friends. Fireman, Worm, Computer, Scissors, Doctor, and B. For the second group, we have Anger, Airport, Atis, Yam, Success, Lake, Charity, House, Coconut, Eggplant, Family, River, Church, Nara, and Enemy. Now let us learn about common and proper nouns. What are common nouns? Common nouns are general names. It usually starts with a small letter. If it starts with a capital letter, it must be the first word of a sentence. Proper nouns, on the, on the other hand, are specific names. It usually starts with a capital letter and are usually brand names or labels. What are examples of common and proper nouns? Examples of common nouns are school, boy, chocolate, shoes, cell phone, subject, street, hero, senator, country, ocean, and holiday. Examples of proper nouns for these common nouns are for school, it's the F. Tinkerbell School. For boy, we have Carlo. For chocolate, Goya. For shoes, Reebok. For cell phone, Samsung. For subject, Filipino. For street, Arroyo Street. For hero, Jose Rizal. For senator, Lito Lapid. For country, Laos. For ocean, 
Pacific Ocean, and for a holiday, New Year. Now let us study this set of sentence examples. All the words that are emboldened are nouns. The words that are emboldened and underlined are common nouns, while those that are emboldened and italicized are proper nouns. In the first example, freedom is a privilege that most of us do not cherish. The word pre freedom is underlined and therefore it is a common noun. Adeline, please help me carry these bags inside. That is for the second sentence. The word Adeline is emboldened and italicized and it is an example of a proper noun. While the word bags is an example of a common noun. In sentence number three, my favorite chocolate bar is Cadbury fruits and nuts. The words chocolate bar is pertaining to a common noun. While the words Cadbury fruits and nuts is a brand name for a chocolate bar and it is a proper noun. In sentence number four, my mommy bought me a pair of shoes. The word mommy and shoes are both common nouns. In the fifth sentence, Tagig City is my hometown. The words Tagig City is um, a proper noun for a city, while the word hometown is a common noun. In the sixth sentence, I only brought bottled water for the picnic. Bottled water is a common noun as well as picnic. In the seventh sentence, my cousin Jack is a naughty boy. The words cousin and boy are common nouns while Jack is a proper noun. Number eight, he is my brother Stephen. The word brother is a common noun and Stephen is the proper noun for the name of the brother. In the ninth sentence, she bought a pencil. The word pencil is a common noun. And in the last sentence, a president is a leader. The words president and leader are both common nouns. Now let us check your understanding. From the following sentences, you need to identify the common nouns and mark it blue, and the proper nouns you need to mark it red. The first sentence, the mall will open later. Second sentence, Chris tried to scare me. And the third sentence, this movie is fun to watch. And the fourth sentence, her name is Hershey. The fifth sentence, my shoes are wet. Sixth sentence, I helped Damien study. Seventh sentence, Queen Elsa is pretty. Eighth sentence, that blue jacket is too big for me. Ninth sentence, Mr. De Jesus, you may go in now. And the last sentence, he will ride an airplane to get there. Now let us first use a blue marker and find all the common nouns. In the first sentence, you need to mark mall blue. In the third sentence, the word movie should be blue. In the fifth sentence, the word shoes should be marked blue. In the eighth sentence, we have the word jacket. In the tenth sentence, we have the word airplane. Now let us use a red marker 
and try to look for proper nouns. In the first sentence, we have no proper nouns there. But in the second sentence, we have the word Chris, which should be marked red. In the fourth sentence, we have to mark the word Hershey red. In the sixth sentence, we have to mark Damien red. In the seventh sentence, we need to mark Queen Elsa red. In the ninth sentence, we need to mark Mr. De Jesus red. As you can see, if the proper noun is made up of two or more words, each letter, uh, no, the first letter of each word should be capitalized as well. In this video, we have learned about the definition of nouns as well as common and proper nouns. The next topic for discussion are articles. See you next time!